Hey everyone, Shabby Gamer here and welcome back to another episode of our FIFA 18 Road to Glory. Now this is episode number 13, but hopefully it's going to be our lucky one. Because we're about to cash in our squad battles. I think I got to gold too. I, uh, I must admit, I didn't get um, all of the matches played this week. Um, yeah, that's gold too, isn't it? So we've got one premium gold players pack and one jumbo premium gold pack. So we're looking pretty good pack-wise. And we've got a nice amount of... Um, of <laughs> God, it's bloody Castro. We've got a nice amount of coins as well. Castro, what's your squad, mate? Wow. See, Castro's playing people out of position as well. With Scream Sacco. That's a bit weird. But playing... See, playing Pogba at CDM, no problem. Just might need to uh, to give him the right... Um, the right... I suppose he could do. Because if you've got the position change cards, you could quite easily move um, Messi back, aren't you? Yeah, so he probably this is probably easy squad. He just used position change cards that the game is not showing. So yeah, that's gonna be a bit of a tricky one. That Hernandez up front, that's an interesting. I think he's a West Ham fan, isn't he? Okay. So as you can see, we've got 19 packs to open though. That's because I've cashed in quite a lot of our gold players to get the two gold uh, rare players packs. So that should be interesting. Got all of those, and um, we've got our inform uh, loan pack, and we've got of course our two jumbo premium gold packs as well. So we've got. 19 packs to open, all containing quite a lot of uh, gold, quite a lot of rares, so hopefully we're going to get someone good. Now I'm going to start things off by opening this because it is only a loan pack, but it is guaranteed to be a team of the week. And so far, the three we've had so far have been awful. So please come and get somebody half decent. Come on. Come on, FIFA. It's going to be French goalkeeper. Yeah, it's awful again. 83 rate. It's not too bad, I suppose, but... It's just not... There's so many really good players on that team of the week. Have we ended up with this guy from Montpellier? 83 rated. He's not actually as good as the player we're currently using. But we'll send him to the club anyway. I'm sure we'll use him at some point. So we've got 18 packs to open and 50,000 gold as well. So we get some good stuff. We can make a good investment this episode, I reckon, for our for our um, squad battles team. Right, so we're going to start things off. Let's go for the Jumbo Premium Players Pack. Or the Premium Gold Players Pack, should I say. Sorry. 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 Oh, it's a gold glow to the pack opening screen now, is it? It's a rare player, that's good. It's a left back, it's Montpellier again. Wow. Well, that's um, pretty piss poor, isn't it, really? Well, we've got a load of players back to do our squad um, cash-ins with again then, I suppose. That was not a very good pack for us at all, was it? Right, should we go for... Let's just do them all in order. Let's go for the Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. And then we'll do all the two players packs and we'll finish off. Or shall we? I don't know what the best way of doing it is, to be honest. Again, we've got a rare player. It's not one with boards, though, so it's not going to be fantastic. Is that Hurtado, is it? Yeah. I think we've already got this lad, so this lad would be a... I don't even know if he's worth putting on the transfer list, to be honest with you. I know I cashed him in, didn't I? Yeah, I cashed him in. Uh, one Fran got cashed in. Yeah, a lot of these players will get cashed in for two players packs again. Contracts will come in very useful because we've... Uh, We've sort of run out of everything now because I've been playing a lot of games, obviously, in squad battles. You use up a lot of your contracts. Right, come on. We've got about 14 of these two rare players packs. So 28 rare players. Surely we've got to get at least one good one. So no boards on the first one. And it is a Chilean centre midfielder. It's going to be Fernandez. Wow. If he's the best player in the pack, then we're in for trouble this one. And Jan Bayev. Okay, players we can cash in again for more gold rares, I suppose, in the future. Uh, because they're not ones that are going to come in much use to us. Come on, give us a good one. Yes. Right, we've got boards. We've got boards. It's a big flair as well. Spanish. Right back. It's bloody Juan Fran. We've already got Juan Fran. Wow, I got so excited about bloody Juan Fran. Right. Ezekiel we can put in the squad. Juan Fran. We can't... Can we... We can't transfer this, you can we? We can send to club in place of that one and then place him on the transfer list. So basically the ones you get in these two players packs are um, are untradeable. So if you've already got the player, then you can sell the player you've already got and let you keep the untradeable version. Which is fine because I'm sure we'll keep one for anyway. Come on, give us another good one. It's not... It's a rare, but it's not a board. German centre midfielder, Schalke... Goretzka, that's not actually too bad, actually. Goretzka's quite a good player in this game, I believe. Uh, I don't know if he's one we've already had, though. 
No, two players we need. Leajic as well. He did sign for Man United years ago and they cancelled the deal. Goretzka's a good player, actually. Going to really strengthen our Bundesliga side, which we haven't used once so far. So uh, let's get a go on that sooner or later. Again, it's not a fantastic one, not a board. That doesn't mean we can still get a player up to the uh, 82, 82 rated, as we found out. So that is Brahimi, of course. We've got informed Brahimi, so this guy can go on the transfer list. Whether he'll sell or not, it's a different story. So um, I'm going to send you... Where is... Oh, no, I can't send him to the transfer list, can I? And they're both untradeable. I'll just put them both in the club then, because we can cash them in for squad building challenges. I know that... I, I even said a minute ago they're untradeable, and I still tried to bloody do it, didn't I? Right. No, it's still not a good one. Come on, where's the good players? I've seen some people get some amazing players in these packs. That is going to be Salvio again, a player I think we already have in our squad. No, he's not. We must have cashed him in, but we have got this guy in our squad. So we'll put him on the transfer list. Don't know if he's going to sell or not, but you know, we might get some coins out of it. Right, come on. 11 packs left. Not a good one again. Damn, come on. These rare players supposed to get some good stuff in them. Right wing. It's Carlos Vela, isn't it? Yeah. 82 rated again. Not bad. Not bad at all. I don't know if he's any use. We might give him a try in our La Liga squad. And we've got Ibora as well. 82 rated from Molesta. Again, not bad. He's not got much pace at all around him, but he's got decent defending physical stats for a CDM. Not bad. I just want one big player. Come on, one big player. That's not Juan Fran. No, it's not a good one again. You've got all the screen players available at the moment as well. Italian, right wing, Sassuolo. Berardi. Uh, it's not bad. A good all-round player. Good pace, dribbling and shooting and passing. But again, not the sort of quality I was hoping for. But it's not bad. It'll definitely boost us. Ah, Fernandez. Again, we'll send you to the club. And we'll place your duplicate on the transfer list. Because we do use Fernandez actually. In our Russian squad. Come on. Yes. We've got a glow. Right, we've got a board. Argentinian. Centre back. Manchester City's Otamendi. That's not bad. 83 rated. Not the high hopes I was hoping for. Don't get me wrong. But not bad for our uh, BPL squad. We need is a bit of strength in that. And we've got Origi as well. Who's a place of Wolfsburg, of course, on loan at the moment. That's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Not a player that's going to be any use to us at this point in time. Come on. Nope, not a good one. I'm sure the flares are bigger for the smaller players. Right, left back, Brazilian, Leverkusen. There's a Wendell. And a Wendell's a very good player. He's only 77 rated, but apparently he's very, very good. So he'll be a player we'll get some use out of. And we've got Marega as well from Porto. I didn't realise there was this many crappy uh, crappy uh, rare players, to be honest. Come on, where's the glow? No, come on. Where's these good bloody players at? Is that Abubakar? No, it's not. It's Samuel Eto. Oh, nice. Is he still in Turkey now? I think he's still in Turkey. Yeah, he is. And we've got a duplicate Wendell, which we can't do anything with. So we're going to have to just quick sell him. Because, of course, the other version was untradeable as well. So, uh, trust us to get two of the same bloody player untradeable. No, again, it's not a big one. Spanish goalkeeper, Atletico. It's Moya. Again, not that much use to us. And we've got Rafa as well, who's a good player. I think we cashed him in for some of these players, though, to be honest. So we've got five, we've got three, two rare player packs, and then two of the jumbo premium gold packs left. Come on, we just want something that's significant. And that's not it. Polish goalkeeper, Juventus, it's Szczesny. Although I'm pretty sure we've got an in-loan, we've got an in-loan, we've got an on-loan uh, Buffon somewhere. But it might come in useful. And Guardado for the Spanish squad, no use to us at all. Come on. Yes, we've got a glow. We've got a glow. We've got some boards then. Right, come on. It's Petr Cech, isn't it? It's Petr Cech. I'll take that. 86 rated goalkeeper. It's, actual, it's our first proper walkout of FIFA 18. It's Petr Cech, who was also our first proper walkout 
a FIFA 17 as well. It's not bad. Not bad at all. We'll keep him. He'll be useful for our BPL squad when we actually finally build it. And we've got Ndaye as well, who's in the championship of all places. Right, so we've got a, we've got a fairly decent player. Still not someone who's going to set the world on fire. Not an outstanding player like the Iskos and Benzema's we've got in the past. It's another, it's another board. Okay, board after board. Double boards. Ivory Coast said, oh, it's Eric Bailey. Oh, lovely. Now that is a player I am very happy with. Very, very happy with. Eric Bailly, one of the best defenders in the game by all accounts. And we've got Digne as well, potentially for our... Um, I can't... I was going to see how much he is on the transfer list, but of course he's untradeable, so we can't sell him anyway. But he's worth a good few coins, that guy. That is... That's a best player, I think. Pack after pack to get... Um, we got Otamendi, Bailly, and Petr Cech today. We've got ourselves a good defensive core for our BPL squad. We'll have to start using that at some point. We've not got a fantastic BPL squad at this point in time. Are we going to get a good player in these packs? It is a rare player. It's not going to be a walkout, though, or anything like that. It's left wing. It is going to be Balde Diaw. 82 rated. Not too bad at all. Not a pace. Have I got the inter one to watch version of him? I'm not quite sure, to be honest. Um, some more players we can use for squad building, cashing in. More contracts, fitness cards, chemistry styles, and all that jazz. And a spare ball, which is not going to go for anything, is it? Let's just quick sell the ball. Can we get another big player? Come on. I'm quite happy so far with our week's work. Eric Bailly really turned it around for me, to be honest. What are we going to get here? Yes. We've got a board. We've only got a, got a bloody board. Portuguese. CDM. Oh, it's Pereira. When you see Portuguese as the first thing that pops up, a little bit inside you gets hopeful. But you know it's not going to happen. Right, I think Pereira is a duplicate, to be honest, though. He has got Davinson Sanchez as well from the Premiership. Wow, our Premiership defence is looking pretty strong now. How good? I don't know how good he is, to be honest. I've not seen many people using him, but I'll, I think we'll get some use out of him. And um, Pereira, let's um, place you on the transfer list. I'll do all this off camera later on. I don't think these are any use, so we're just going to quick sell them all and get ourselves a bit of coinage. Right, so that's all of our packs opened. Um, let's have a look at our squads then. Well, at the moment, of course, I'm still using the Spanish squad. I'm debating getting rid of Benzema, to be honest. Because if we have a look at Benzema... Um, 47 games, 37 goals, 38 assists. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was. And we've got Sanabria, the player we got on uh, last episode. 22 games, 22 goals, 14 assists. I'm actually doing better with Sanabria. And I think uh, Benzema is worth... He's worth quite a chunk of money, so I'm potentially thinking about that. As you can see, there's a couple of spots here where I've traded a few of these players. Just to players that weren't very good, really. And uh, we're going to fill up the squad with better players anyway. But I'm quite happy with this squad at the moment. It's pretty doing me, it's doing me pretty well. Um, of course, if we could get some stronger players. Um, of course, I think Isco was being rested for the last game. So Isco does fit there in place of Benega. Um, I've looked at maybe Casemiro. Uh, Modric, Iniesta. For 50k, we could be able to possibly buy one of those players. Um, but let's have a look then at our BPL squad. It's not looking good at the moment, is it? Um, basically, I did this just to complete a daily challenge the other day, which was score goals with a Premiership striker. So I brought in, of course, the Lacazette loan we've got. We've actually not got a bad team here. Let's um, let's let's play around with it a second and see what we can build. Right. Who do we have in reserve then, BPL-wise? Um, so, BPL, right. So, we got Sanchez. Of course, let's go down to the untradeable bit. So, we've got Petr Cech, untradeable. And we've got Bay, untradeable. Otamendi. Oh, I brought me for Forster. Or oh, Ospina can go. So all the untradeable, and then uh, if I go to the actual pitch, because I know we've got no centre midfielders, that's our problem at the moment, isn't it? If I go to centre midfielders, go for the centre centre midfield, I can bring in a Bora. And then do we have any central midfielders here? No. Oh, we got Save, but and we've got Britain. Are we really that desperate that we're going to play these two? Or we have a bit of money we could invest. Right, how would we play this? I think Petacek in goal is the obvious way. We have Vertonghen on loan for a bit. Do I play Bailey and 
Otamendi for now and then use Alderweireld should we need him as a as a backup. Um, goalkeeper wise, is Gomez better than Forster? He is. Slamani on the bench. So ideally we need a left winger and we need two centre mids and potentially we could use this Premiership squad. Now, how do we want to do this? Do we want to be clever? Let's have a look and see what the sort of money, uh, what we can buy for this money at the moment. So if I go gold and I go BPL, what what can we buy for a decent amount of money? I don't want to spend over the odds. Santi Cozzola, 1.7 million. That's not bad. Uh, we're looking for a left winger, aren't we? Bakioko, 21k for Bakioko. I've heard he's very, very good. That's not bad. This guy's got 93 pace. Morales, 900 coins. So we could put a couple of decent players in for now without worrying about spending too much. Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva, 4,400 coins from 84 rated. Wow. Maybe I've overestimated the price on some of these players. Oxlade Chamberlain. You'd have to pay me money to buy him, to be honest. 340k for him one to watch Salah. No surprises there. Um, King, 90 pace, looking pretty good. Anthony Marshall, 75k. Wow. But he's the sort of player you want, really, isn't he? He's a top player. Um, Christiansen's 81 now, is he? Wow. Bravo's 82. Sterling in form, 100k. Schneidlin, 3,400 for that centre CDM. Um, where are we going to find this sort of player after? I think um, Antonio is supposed to be quite good, but he's not a very good finisher. Who's the, who's the left attacking winger that we can get then? There's not many that have popped up so far, are there? Chris Shawiak. What did Chris Shawiak play for West Brom? When did that happen? I don't recall that happening. Um, Tadic in the midfield is cheap, but is he any good? Herrera is supposed to be very, very good. Herrera is very good, and we, we could afford him. He's 19k. Rashford's 31. Oh, it's not... Oh, we're going to have to have a think about this, aren't we? We're going to have to think about this. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to leave it... I'm going to think about it in between episodes, I think. Because... It would be nice to have a second team to use. Although we could spend the 50k we have now on another big player for our... Now let's have a look at that first, right? Before we make any decisions, let's have a look at what you can get um, for your money. If we go for max buy it now, let's go for players that are worth more than 10k. Because we know those are the players that we're looking at. Right. Oh, that was stupid, wasn't it? Um, let's do min buy it now. Oh, I completely bugged up. Don't I? Max buy it now needs to be needs to be anything, doesn't it? Um, let's, well, let's put that to 15 million then. Min buy it now, that's what I'm looking for, right. 10k, because we know all the players that are worth more than 10k are bound to be good, right. So search. So we can get in, we can afford Iniesta. Just about. Um, Casemiro, we can afford Casemiro. Who apparently he's a very good player as well. Um, who else is there? How is this? Right. I need to change this, don't I? To um, Literally, that should be enough to change it to. Right. Let's search again. That's better. Right. So there's a uh, Scream Carrasco. Dembele. We can almost afford Dembele, but he'd be very expensive. So we could get Asensio. Marcelo we can't afford. Asensio is a nice little backup for when Isco is not 100%. Um, Koke is 84. Yeah, do we just strengthen... Do we do one more big strengthen of our... See, Rakitic. But how good is Rakitic? That's the question. Iniesta there as well. 42k for Iniesta. Oh, I just... I feel like Iniesta's a player we should be buying, to be honest. For 42, 34k there.
You know, if we can get him for that, I've lost it now. There's 30k. That leaves us with 20k left. Oh, someone's bidding him now. I'm going to make a cheeky bid. I just feel like we, if we, we strengthen up our our La Liga squad to such a point where... Oh, someone's just brought it out. If we, swench, no, if we strengthen up the La Liga squad to a point where it's good enough, then we can start to concentrate on strengthening up the other squads. But I feel like it would be a good idea to get one of these squads up to a, a top level first. And I feel like that could be this one. Let's just do it. Screw it. Iniesta, 87 rated. Boom. Continue searching. Right. Um, centre club, Iniesta, right. We've got 15k left now then. Do we bring in a Sencho as well? Gamero is supposed to be very good. Right, Asensio, Gamero, and Titi. Godin, 40k for Godin as well. I'm so tempted to sell uh, Benzema. I don't know if he's worth what he is worth, if that makes any sense. Uh, Koke as well. Do we get Koke as one of the, one of the centre midfielders? I feel like Gamero for 8k is worth the risk. Because if we can bring in Gamero for 8k and sell Benzema for 50, then I think we'll be in a very good position. I think that would definitely be worth it for us. Which leaves us with 7k. We can't afford Varane. Or is there another Varane that's cheaper? No, there's not. Wow. How are you spending to get 60k for him when someone's selling him so cheap? I know that's actually what he's worth, 60k. Okay. We could have afforded Varane then, actually, but... Can we buy one for 7k? It's not looking like it, is it? No one that we've already... No one that can uh, do us a good, solid bit of work. Isco is going for... It's 40... Oh, yeah, Isco. So I'll get me Isco's mixed up now. We could have got Cruz if we'd held on to that money for a bit. There you go, Sencho. If I can get you for that 7k, then that'll be a very good weekend for us, I think. If we can get those players... So we got Iniesta. We brought Gamero. It's just a case of waiting it out now for the Isco. So remove that item. Oh, no, someone's outbid us and we can't afford that one. Damn. Okay. Okay, I'm sure there'll be someone we can buy for this 7k. Koke. Is there a Koke that's going for cheaper than that? That one's going for 8k. can almost afford to buy it. Let's just put all of our eggs in this one then. Let's just go straight for the 7,600. See if we can just price everyone out of it. Hopefully no one's going to go for that. Someone might just buy that outright. In which case we'll have a look for another one. It's annoying, isn't it, when you've got that little amount of money. Just a tiny bit short. But oh, we could have brought that one now. Okay, well if we get our money back, we'll buy this one now. We haven't got our money back yet, so I'm assuming we could be okay, you know. Have we brought Koke? We have. Sweet. Right, so remove that item. Right. So I'm happy with the strengthening we've done so far. And if we come to a point where... There we go. If we come to a point where we know that Gamero and Sanabria is going to be good enough up front for us, we can sell on Benzema. Because I don't rate him. I just really don't. He's just not being that great for us. And you think what we could do with that 50k, we could really beef up one of our other squads. So we've actually completed one of our daily objectives as well, which is buy a player. Uh, which gives us a bronze contract pack, which are about as useful as the paper they're written on. But we'll take them. I don't know why we're taking them, but we'll take them. They're not worth anything else to us. What's we got to do? We've got to do a squad battle. We've got to score with an English player. Apply a, squitna, a squitness? Apply a fitness to our squad and score a goal with a head. And then we've got this one. We've got um, score goals with headers. Uh, play online seasons games. Uh, buy five more players for at least a thousand coins. Oh, we did a lot of bidding, didn't we? That's the problem. It's all buy it now, isn't it? And apply 20 consumables. So we're, we're not looking too bad. 
But I think we we're pretty close to the end of the episode. But I think before we end the episode, of course, we'll use our new players in this Spanish squad. And I'm pretty happy now. Now that we've done this, we've built up a stronger squad. And I feel like we're in a better position now. And I'm going to try Gamero up front. And if Gamero has a good few games, then I think we will consider selling Benzema and using the money to uh, invest elsewhere. So we're going to bring in Koke. And then we're going to remove... We can remove Ben, uh, ben Agen because we don't need him either, do we? Well, we do need Ben Agen, don't we? Oh, we don't. Right, so Gamero comes in in place of Benzema. And um, we're going to play Iniesta in place of Turan. How are we looking fitness-wise? Right, fitness is fitness is okay, but we are going to use a squad fitness anyway because of um, we need to do it for them on the uh, daily missions, so we might as well uh, apply fitness item. There we go, squad fitness. Is it done? There we go. So then, the debuts of Iniesta and Gamero, and should we play? We'll play Koke as well. Why not? Let's play Koke there. Let's go a bit more aggressive. So we've got a much better team now, an 83... How is it only 83 rated? Is it because of the quality of the bench, maybe? I think it could be to do with the quality on the bench. Um, sorry, I'm a bit of a stickler for organising my bench in the correct order. I don't like it when it's out of sync. Are we happy with this? Got the right players on the bench? I'm proud. I'm happy with the players we've got on the bench. And before we do go in, let's just see how much Benzema is actually worth. Um, if I was to have a look at compare price... He's going for around about 60, to, between 55 and 60,000 coins, which could be reinvested very well. I'm not sure how good Benzema is. So we're going to go for Gamera and see how he gets on. But yeah, let's take on Castro's team and see if we can start off this week's squad battle strong with a victory. We're going to go for Professional. It doesn't really matter what you go for on this, does it really? I think these are easier than the normal squad battles. But there we go. Let's crack in. I'll bring you back when we get some action. But... He's just in the right place at the right time, a lot of the time. Isco. Yeah, gotta be, gotta be. There it is. Is that Gamero's first goal? Is that Gamero? Who scored that? Is it Gamero? I think it might have been Gamero. It was a good bit of play. We saw it, pulled the defender out and then brought it into the middle. That's gotta be Gamero, hasn't it? Yeah. Now, I'm sure that Benzema would have scored that anyway, but that's not the problem. The point is, is is Gamero going to score many goals? Like I said, um, Sanabria's got a better goal scoring record than Benzema has. And if um, Gamero can pull the same thing off, then we know we don't... I don't think we need Benzema anyway, to be honest. The goals are flowing from Sanabria. And I don't really use a lot of the strikers' um, strengths, to be honest. I'm more, I more get my goals from midfield and wingers. So, striker for me is not a major issue. So, we can get 50k and spend it on... Maybe uh, getting the money together for Godin um, for a good solid defender, or maybe pushing the money forward for a Modric or a Cruz, then that'd be a good idea. I don't know. It's one of those sort of things we're gonna have to play uh, play it by ear, see how we feel, and see if it's worth selling him. I, I feel like it might be. I might give it another week of squad battles to see how we get on with Gamera and Sanabria. Just leave Benzema on the sidelines and see how many goals we score without him. Come on. Come on, get there. Oh, good. Yeah, see how many goals we score without him. See how well we do without him. And then if it comes to the end of the week and it's not affected us, then I feel we'll just carry on without him. We don't need him. Harsh words, but 50k is 50k. Good ball forward. It's come... Oh. Way back to Ronaldinho. Yeah, that was going to happen eventually, wasn't it? Just ripped us to shreds. The combination of Ronaldinho and Ronaldo up front, no matter what happens, they're going to score goals. And I know my defence should be better, but I'm not going to feel bad about that one, to be honest. I know I should feel bad about that one, but I'm not going to. I'm as annoyed. Yeah, I'm annoyed, you know. I got ripped to shreds there. My defence is getting better. Don't get me wrong. My defence is definitely getting better as we move forward. But come on. It's Ronaldo and Ronaldinho. We'll still win. I'm confident we'll still win. We've been close to scoring a second for a while now. So um, I dare say we will do at some point. Oh, 
Oh, God. No. Oh, no, I've given away a penalty. Ah, oh, you bugger. You bugger. Don't you hate that when you press the button to... Literally, I press square to boot that ball away. And instead of booting the ball away, the guy's gone in for a slide tackle and caught Ronaldo. Oh, my God, he's going to bloody score now, isn't he? See, all I wanted to do was just swing and boot that ball away, and instead he's gone for the bloody tackle. That's a frustrating way to start the second half. And it's Ronaldo versus Navas. I don't think we've got much chance in saving this one, have we? No, I went the wrong way as well. Damn. We were 1-0 up, and now we're 2-1 down. This is a terrible debut for the likes of Iniesta. Well, no, Iniesta's actually had a very good match, I must admit. But in fairness, you're never saving that penalty. Never. Right. Let's stop messing around now, and let's start winning this game, because we need to get these early points. These early points could be the difference between Gold 1 and Gold 2 for us this week. I want to get back into Gold 1. Uh, I've not played the full amount of games the last two weeks, which hasn't helped us, but this week I'm going to really go for it and try and get that, because I really want to get some better players in for this weekend. And oh, There we go. Clear it, clear it. No, that's not a good clearance, is it? Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Come on. What is happening here? That was shocking. The clearance. Straight to their player. Oh, my God. Squad battles are so much more difficult than a normal game, I tell you. I've been playing a lot of career mode recently, and I'm playing career mode on, um, on world class, and I'm still acing it. And then you come back into ultimate team, you go into um, squad battles... And you go into a uh, professional. And then all of a sudden I'm being ripped to shreds again. There we go. Straight back in. Is that Iniesta? Go on. Be Iniesta. It bloody well is. So debut goals from both Iniesta and from Gamero. Showing us that the money is well spent. But is it enough to turn this game back around? We were 1-0 up. We were 2-1 down. We were 3-1 down. And now we're back up to 3-2. And that is a goal that I'm not quite sure that Arda Turan or Paulinho would have scored. It's a bloody good goal. I'm happy with that. I really am. Right, there we go. There we go. Right. I'm happy now. Well, I'm not happy yet. We need to get another one yet, but uh, I'm better. Come on. What on earth? How am I supposed to defend against that? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, wow. We're going to be not doing well this week, are we? I should have just gone for semi-pro, shouldn't I, really? There's so little difference between pro and semi-pro that we should have just gone for it. Lionel Messi from midfield blasting that in. I didn't even pressure him because I thought he was going to go for the pass. Wow. Right, we've got to score another two again. Let's see how possible that is. Defence is always my problem, isn't it? Oh, I'm just being insulted now. I, I don't know what... It's, just, just... Oh, my God. It's, it's fucking Fellaini, for fuck's sake. It's a joke. Literally, as soon as I conceded that third goal, my team just fell apart and they just won't do anything now. I'm just simple little passes and everything just not going right. And the keeper, my, he's taking his arms away from that, for God's sake. Look, he doesn't even stretch his arms out. Look, he, oh, that's just just that entire goal. That is a, a proper FIFA goal. That That is a goal that does not happen in real life. And I think we need to bow out of this one. Um... Unless I can score three goals in the last seven minutes, which, let's face it, is not going to happen. Just because just because they can't get a break. They're t this team is quite easily the best team that's been put out in these squad battles so far. Easily. Back in the game half the time. And there we go. End of the game. And that is absolutely diabolical. It's so annoying because, obviously, we've got the goal to start off with. Gamero scored in his debut. Isco is awful. How does Isco even get an 8.3 in that? Every single time he touched the ball, it went miles ahead of him. Uh, Iniesta and Gamero got joint man of the match. So I think it shows that the money we spent was worth the money we spent, but we've just lost out on a massive amount of points. 
Oh, what? We still got four... We only lost 400 points for losing the game then. Okay. That's not bad then. I'm not too disappointed because we still got a big chunk of them points. I don't feel as bad now. I don't feel as bad. Uh, we've got a few interesting games to play here today. But I feel like what we should do next time... Uh, we do have um, a couple of things to catch in as well. So squad battle got 350 coins. And fit 11 we're going to get one item. A squad fitness card. Which is not as good as the one we actually use. So you know. Right so I feel like what we might do next episode. You know is a foot draft. We've not done one in a while. So I'll, um, I'll load some FIFA points on my account. And we'll do a foot draft. And we'll cash in the rewards and see what we get. Of course I'm going to do the foot draft on amateur. Because as I've said in the past. If you do do single player foot drafts. It doesn't matter what difficulty you do because there's no different ratings on the results you can get. No different ratings on the uh, rewards you can get anyway. But yeah, that's the end of this episode. It's been quite a long one. I do apologize for that. But it's, uh, we've got quite a lot done. A um, bit disappointed with the result of that game. But um, I'm going to continue pushing forward with this squad now. And we'll see how we feel next week. Um, whether we want to sell Benzema and invest the money in a better player. Or whether we whether we want to um, keep Benzema and, uh, and just maybe move on a couple of the strikers we've got in our squad. Because we've got quite a few now for La Liga. Uh, let me know what you want me to see me do as well. Do you want me to continue trying to build this La Liga squad up for now? Or shall we start looking at um, maybe filling in a few of the other squads and seeing what we can do with those squads as well? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I've been Shabby Gamer. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you very, very soon for some more FIFA 18 Road to Glory. Bye. <laughs>